Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use the face camera mic, but for videos, I randomly hit record. That's how we always get those awesome video clips here today in Fishing Planet. I'm going to show you how to set up carp rods. Now there's definitely different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you a way on how to do it where we're using different types of ways to add ground bait and i'm going to show you how to do that i've been playing this game for a little over six years now and uh absolutely loving this game to its maximum peak uh, yeah uh, anytime there's updates on this game i'll always let you guys know about the updates and when the new maps come out of course i will live stream that with the face camera mic we do have a playlist of nearly 450 videos of just fishing planet so if you want to catch a certain fish or looking for a certain video it will definitely be in there. I've shown how to set up carp rods before in the past, but today I'm gonna show you how we're doing it. Um, I'm gonna show you four different ways how to set up carp rods with ground bait, and then we're gonna head into the lake and show you how it's done. Okay, so on this one here, this is on the deep horizon rod, this one. This one is at 54, uh, 54 pound maximum line weight. Now the way I set my rods up is always to have max drag. So I can put as much tension onto the rod as I can, but without it snapping. That's the way I like to fish. I've got a video or a couple of videos on max drag showing you guys and explaining more about that. But we also have completed all fish missions and fish monster missions. You can always check those out as well if you're interested. We've got a carp leader, 56 pound. We've got a carp hook on there, the hash four up. And then we have our line, which is at 57 pound braid. And then we have a weight sink, well, sinker, seven ounce. And then, of course, we have the 11th reel, 9,000. That one is already set up. And on there, I've got the Spices sinking boilies. You can use all different types of boilies, or you could use corn or peas or sweet corn or sweet peas as a cheaper bait. So that's one way to set it up. A second way to set it up is with exactly the same rod and exactly the same reel. And again, the same line, braid, 57 pounds. And then, of course, the carp leader at 56 pounds. The carp hook that we've used. You could always pause the video at any point if you want to copy the same rod setups. So a second way to do it, this is by using a flat feeder. This is a flat feeder free, five slash nine ounce. And then moving on to the third method, I'm using the heavy chaser. So I'm using one heavy chaser that's weaker and one heavy chaser that's the better one. This is the weaker one. This is 52.9 pound max line. Uh, and then on here, we've got a four op hook X series. It doesn't matter if it ain't X series, but a hash of four op. And as you can see there, I'm using sweet peas. I'm using a mono leader here. This is 50.7 pound mono leader. And then I'm using the clothes feeder at a seven ounce. So this is another way of how to set it up. The Ambusher 9000 reel to get that rod set up. So that's set as max drag, so your line will never break. And of course, that's a different way of feeding. And then if we move along to here, this is going to be our another method. This is the better, stronger heavy chaser. This one, max line goes up to 59.5 pounds. So of course, I've got different line on this one, a little bit better um, of a leader um as well i think okay so mono there i'm using 59.5 pound mono and then i'm using the 11th 10,000 reel on a 4 x series hook with a titanium leader 69.6 now i would probably prefer to use a mono leader but unfortunately there isn't one that is stronger than 50 pounds at the minute until they update the game but i'm using a titanium leader so that way my line doesn't snap off so if we look through here another way to set this up if i can find it somewhere it's not there it must be in my home storage let's uh there it is so an open feeder that's what i'm going to be using on this one so on this one as you can see this is an open feeder five two slash three ounce that's a plastic lead mess mesh cage and capacity is on high, so we'll be able to get a good amount of ground bait in there. So that's the way we set those rods up. So there's four different ways. So we've got this one 
here as i said you can pause it at any time we are going to jump into a lake and show you what to do and how to ground bait as well so there's the second there's the third and there is our fourth way so if we now go to travel now you don't necessarily need to use ground bait to be honest it does make a bit of a difference but it's not like it's life-changing at least not what i've really noticed but if you just want to be a bit fancy i guess you could i'm i'm just doing it just to show you guys you know i've played this game for six, nearly six years well over six years as i said and for me to make these videos sometimes especially this one it's quite an expensive video to make but even though it's expensive to make I can always earn that cash back. I have no worries about that. I know what I'm doing. So we set up our rod stand there, and then we're gonna go into our inventory, and we're gonna go to our ground bait, which is here. So for the open cage that we've got there, open feeder, we're gonna just get some universal mixture. We're gonna take that. So premium, if you've got premium, it takes five seconds to mix it. If you don't have premium, it would take 15 seconds to mix it. Not that that really matters too, too much, but anyway. And then we go to there, and as you can see on the top right, it did its a little motion, and you've got the picture of the ground bait there highlighted in yellow. Now, this is not really where I would fish for carp, to be honest. I'm just showing you guys that this is the way to do it. So we got lots of videos on hot spots, how and where to catch certain fish. All of that good stuff is in our playlist. Okay, so go to inventory and then here. So this is another way and this is by using a PVA bag, this one. I've got plenty of choices for ground bait on this one. I can use quite a lot, so I'm going to go with that one. I don't know why, just because that one's there. So three seconds with premium account or 10 seconds if you don't have premium. Let me go back to there and as you can see it's doing its emotion thing to equip the ground bait. Now the ground bait is now in this PVA bag here. So we cast that one out. <clears throat> As I said, I'm not planning on catching a fish here. I'm just showing you guys how we get it set up. So we come back here to the inventory and then this is our flat feeder. We can use some of these hot spicy methods. There is different ways to mix ground bait. There's many different ground baits that you can create yourself and make them really flavorable and all that kind of stuff. That video I will make in another video. That will be coming, in fact, after this one because I want to cover a bit more of the ground bait situation. We'd never really went that much into depth with ground bait, if I'm honest. Well, that's that one. That's the flat feeder out there. There we go. So we put that one down there. And then, oh, wrong button. Then we go back to the home again, back to our inventory. And then we go to our clothes feeder now. And then on there, we can use the good old universal bait. So round bait. So we click take, click equip. And then again, 15 seconds with no premium, with premium five seconds. All right, so that's that equipped. We click map, click go fishing. It's doing its ground bait thing. There we go. So now that one's equipped. So that's four different ways how to set up carp rods and how to equip the ground bait. I'm going to show you one other thing here, which uh, most of you probably want to see this. So there's different ways to throw ground bait out. One, using your hand. Two, using a catapult. Or three, you can use a rod spod. Now, a rod spod is the same as like a casting rod. You can proper get some insane distance, although using your hand, it doesn't go nowhere near as far. Maximum it can reach is 65 foot, but if you don't have a catapult and you don't have um, a rod spod, it's an option. Now, if we go over to premium, I'm sure here somewhere we can buy a catapult, if I remember rightly, or at least it was on one of the other... There you go there. So for 190 bait coins, you can buy this, which will give you a catapult, a Fishing Planet cap, it's exactly the same one as what I've got in real life, and a head headlight there. So that's an option. Or you can buy a rod spod if you go into the shop and go along to rods. And we scroll down here, go to spod rods. These are the rods that you can purchase. 
which as I said do definitely get a lot more distance if you want but we've done videos on rod spots before so I'm not going to bother to show that so if we come over to the ground bait we've got some of the universal ground bait here and then we go we just click take so bear in mind I'm on my guy here I'm not on a rod I'm just on my guy so we go to mix standard mixing 15 seconds premium 5 there you go, we click OK. So now that will equip it into his hand. So we click map, click go fishing. And now it's doing its a little motion up there in the top right. It's a mixing up the ground bait there. And it puts it into my hand. We hit that button and then, boof, just like that. That went 55 foot. As I said, the furthest this does go is 65. But of course, a catapult will go further. And of course, using a rod spod, you will get even further than a catapult ground bait is a very expensive thing in this game i wouldn't recommend doing it if you don't have much cash or if you haven't if you're not experienced in the game like i am as i said it's, it's not that i'm a professional it's just that i've played this game for six years and i've learned a lot and within that time i definitely don't recommend anybody else doing with doing this unless you are you, unless you have a bit of experience and you know that you can catch fish and you can earn that money back. Ground bait is very expensive at the best of times, even going into the home storage and uh, buying it from the home. It is a little bit cheaper that way, but it definitely is still quite an expensive thing to do. But anyway, I hope this video did help you out. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I always try my best to respond to every comment. Don't forget to drop a like as well if you're enjoying Fishing Planet and keep an eye out for the next one. We're going to be mixing all different types of ground baits and making different ones up. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. Bye, I'm out.